Great, yeah. Tomorrow, 6 p.m., the Intercontinental. It's a pleasure to meet you. My name is Paul Ridge. Can I get you something? Water, tea? No, thank you. Have a seat, please. So, what can I help you with today? They didn't tell you? No, sorry. I've been on the phone all morning. My daughter's gone missing here in Damascus. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. You were traveling together? No, she was alone. I arrived last night. I took the first plane over. Thank you. Shit. Yes, you should have informed us of this sooner, before you left home. Well, frankly, I didn't think you'd be able to do very much. Then why are you here? In case something happens to me. And what passport are you traveling on? Canadian. How were you able to get the visa so quickly? I have connections. That's going to need to stay with us. No, no. It won't. We'll need access to a hotel room. Soon. Maybe this afternoon. I'm staying there now. What do you think you can do? Well, we'll contact the Syrian government. The Ministry of Interior, if your daughter has been arrested and she is in custody, we have the right to be informed immediately. I can get you some more information on the country and the judicial system, if you'd like. I'm familiar with it. Well, then you know what we're up against. I can make the calls, but this is a complicated bureaucratic police state, and they are not fond of photographers, particularly now, given the political climate. If they're not willing to help us out, it's going to be very hard for us to confirm that she's in custody. Where can I buy scotch? Excuse me? Scotch. Good scotch. Well, it's difficult. Why? I found some in her room. Perhaps she brought it with her. I don't know. Ah, uh, okay. Well, to begin with, we'll contact the hospitals and the doctors. But I think the best piece of advice I could give you right now is just to remain calm. And perhaps it would be wisest for you to return home. Whatever you do, you don't want to inflame the situation. If, in fact, there is even a situation here to begin with. Thank you for your time.